sperm freezing is a process by which the person ejaculates and give us a sample we can actually take out the sperms from that semen sample and freeze it in a media which can be kept forever what we do is that the sperms are frozen at minus 196 degrees celsius in a straw or in a vial and kept as such in liquid nitrogen and then can be thawed back or brought back to life whenever we want to use it and about about uh, most of these sperms can then be brought back to life and can be used for an IUI or intrauterine insemination or an IVF or an in vitro fertilization to achieve a pregnancy. Who needs a semen freezing or a sperm freezing? By and large this is an option that we offer to cancer patients. Patients who will undergo treatment for cancer because most of the cancer treatments even today requires either radiotherapy or, or high dose chemotherapy medicines. This may damage the testes forever. So as a result the sperm manufacturing may get completely hampered. So prior to going to such radiotherapy or chemotherapy processes if we can take the semen sample and freeze it in straws that person can survive the cancer treatment, come back and have a child of his own even if his semen sample has gone bad by that time because of his own damage. He can use the old sample and get himself a child of his own uh, by this method. What are the other options where we can go for a semen freezing? Now uh, sometimes what happens is the, the person, the man has been transferred out for economic reasons or for job reasons to some other country and it's not possible for him to come back. Somebody working in the army or military or somebody who is employed in the Middle East or other places, they find it quite often difficult to come back to the to the hometown at very frequent intervals. As a result of which they, they cannot stay together. The husband and wife find it difficult to stay together for long times to father a child. In those circumstances, we can freeze the semen sample and the wife can come to us for insemination to be injected with his sample at the right time so that they can conceive with the husband's semen sample even if technically the husband is not around. So this is another indication where a semen freezing is, is recommended and is, can be carried out. Third indication of doing semen freezing is when we are actually doing an IUI or an IVF treatment. What happens many a times the man is unable to give a semen sample on demand. The stress of giving a semen sample, what if it I fail, that might make some men nervous and they are not able to give a semen sample on the day of IUI or on the day of ICSI when the sperms are actually needed. If there is a fear of those kinds, what we do sometimes is we take the semen sample on any day prior to the actual treatment freeze it so the man is assured that whenever his sample is required we have one sample frozen from him if that day he fails to give a sample on a fresh fresh note then we can always use a frozen sample these i would say are the larger indications why semen needs to be frozen other than that freezing semen because later on they might require it because the age might have deteriorated the sperm sample is not so much of an indication because men while they do have worsening of semen over time, the worsening of semen is so gradual or so little that it does not really require freezing of semen sample to take advantage of this loss in vitality because of age.